welcome all to my youtube channel today we are going to learn how to find out the percentage of marks scored in an exam uh, for various students or how to find out the averages in general so there will be two methods that uh, will help me get the percentage of the marks scored by the student so let's start with the first method so the first method is a little bit lengthier so let's see how it goes in this way uh, we will first find out the sum total of marks scored by the student if you don't know how to use the formula of sum then i have already made a separate video on it i will keep its link in the description box you can easily navigate and uh, watch how to use this sum function so at first i will use the sum function i will press tab and then i will select the first marks column and then i will drag it till the last column and then i will press enter so as you can see ross has scored 404 marks now if i want to calculate the percentage of marks scored by ross then the first method will be equals to then i will select the total marks scored by ross and herein I will select this column using cursor and then I will type hash hash is used to divide so how many subjects uh, did Ross appear in the examination so you can see here there are six subjects so I will select six and then press enter now as you can see I have got the percentage of marks scored by Ross by 67.33% if you want to apply this formula into the whole sheet then you can use ctrl c and then select the entire uh, area and then ctrl v in the similar manner you can you can use by pressing ctrl c in the percentage area and then selecting the whole area and then pressing ctrl v so you can see the percentage of uh, marks scored by each of the students So now friends let's move on to the next part of the video where I will show you the second method of finding the percentage or the average. Average is also called as the percentage. So Excel has given us a separated formula where you can find out the average or you can say the percentage. So the simple method is by pressing equals to and then you can type A V E R and then you can see average here you will press tab and then you need to select the whole area upon which you want to find out the average because you see average is also the percentage and it is vice versa used so i will select the region where i want to find out the average so i will select this uh, entire region let me do it it again for you i will press average tab and then I will select this region and then I will select this whole region by shift side and then I will press enter so there you can see by using the average formula I have also got the percentage the other way around if you don't want to use the keyboard then simply you can use the average and then you need to select by pressing the mouse the entire region and then you can press enter same results has got over here as well and you can copy the same formula over the entire region by pressing ctrl c and then you can select the whole region by using your mouse and then ctrl v if you don't want to use your mouse then we have the another shortcut where i will press ctrl c and then i will go to downwards and then press ctrl shift up it is for those who don't want to use their keyboards uh, sorry if you don't want to uh, use your mouse and then i will press ctrl v so that's how this works so if you find this video very useful uh, please do like and subscribe thanks for watching